Welcome aboard the Pride of America. This is room number 9028. This is a large balcony stateroom. And the balcony itself is larger than other rooms, but the room itself is not actually larger. This is the same exact stateroom, I believe, you will find with other balcony categories. All right, so here is the entranceway. You'll see the door there, a closet to your left as you walk in with room for hanging clothes, two drawers down below for storage. Then there's a small hot beverage center as well as a couple shelves that you can put things on. There is a mini bar in the room over on the other side. We'll get to that in just a minute. Let's start off with the bathroom. The Pride of America was launched back in 2005. Um, I'm not sure that the shower says anything other than before then, but it's just one of those stand-up showers. It does have one panel, but it does have a shower curtain. I know some of the newer Norwegian ships do have a shower door, which is quite elegant in comparison. All right, so here's your, here's your uh, sink, the basin here. And in our particular room, for some reason, they offered the Elemis uh, package of amenities, bath amenities, as well as the soap dispenser there. What's interesting is that the soap dispenser was empty for the first couple of days, so I'm not sure what's going on there. That panel right there, uh, that glass panel, that opens up to become a medicine cabinet. That's the only storage you have, save for the area underneath the sink right here, which has twin trash cans limiting that. But there's a little bit of space down there in the event you need to store things. All right, so to the room itself, that's a king bed right there. Two twins nudged together, a small nightstand on either side. There's the desk over in the corner with a built-in hair dryer. My wife says that's important. There it is. It's not the Kronos 2000, which I know you'll find on ships like the Sun that some people, like my wife, despise. She likes the ship, hates the hairdryer. So this is uh, the telephone, and down below there are two plugs. Um, these days you need more than that, but uh, you can make do with that. There's one back behind the TV, too, in the event you need one. We bring along an air freshener just in case. That's what that is. We always bring an air freshener. It's a $1 investment to the dollar store, and we think it pays off. There's the TV. This is not an interactive television. It does have the map channels and whatnot, as well as movies that run on a regular course, though <laughs> irregular sometimes. All right, so the mini bar is down here. You can see what they've stuck in there. There's soft drinks down below, and then the liquor is right up there. There's the liquor. So I didn't even look at the prices. Sorry, so no input there. Two drawers down below for storage. And here is the little sitting area, which that'll fold out for additional guests, if you wish. Here's looking back at the room and your small coffee table. Okay, so the reason you might choose this stateroom over another is the balcony. The balcony is much bigger than other staterooms. And so here it is. In our case, we strung hammocks on our balcony. It comes with one chair and one ottoman, which you can see. This particular stateroom has steel, basically a steel window. Uh, but the, the balcony space is, I would say, two and a half times the square footage of other staterooms, uh, other balcony staterooms. So if you want to learn how to put a hammock up on a ship, we've got a separate video for that. And now we can tell you that it definitely does work aboard the Pride of America. This is 9028. This is on the starboard side. It's a split, I think, between starboard and port for preference. Um, sometimes it seems that the port side, import, got a superior view. Sometimes it seems the starboard side. So I'm not sure that picking one side over the other is of benefit. Okay, so here we are, 9028. Thank you for watching.